welcome to my kitchen. Today let's make some applesauce cake. Fall is in the air, finally. The temperature dropped drastically in the last few days. We started the week going into 90 degrees every day, or you know, 90, 92, 89, things like that. And on Friday it dropped, and we were going at 68 degrees for the high. And I am telling you, I am so happy that summer is saying goodbye, because I hate summer. And I love autumn, my very favorite season of the entire year, and I am ready for it. And with autumn comes all these wonderful um, recipes, and applesauce cake, and spice cake, and soups and stews start coming back to the table, and, and that Christmas in the air, and you can smell the, the, the fire smoke, and it, I just love it. So let's make an applesauce cake my way, and I'll show you how I do it. I'll go over what goes into all this. We're going to have two and a half cups of flour, two cups of sugar, a half a cup of oil, a half a cup of apple cider, because I had it in the fridge. If you don't, go ahead and use, um, you can use apple juice, or you can just use water and they'll be fine. One and a half cups of apple sauce. You can use homemade or you can use it just out of the jar. This is all natural, so it's just apples and water. And then we're going to have a quarter teaspoon of baking powder one and a half teaspoons of salt, and I'm using two teaspoons of apple pie spice to make it easy. It's basically cinnamon, clove, and allspice. And then here's a cup of raisins. I've got half a cup of golden raisins, and underneath what you can't see is a half a cup of, of dark raisins, because I had that in the pantry as well, and I like to mix them. So, let's get started. And really, it's really easy. This is a no-brainer. You're going to just put everything in the bowl, except for the raisins, okay? Because we're going to, we'll put those in last. And the first thing I want to do is I want to, I'm going to use my hand mixer today just because it's easy. I'm just going to mix this up real quick, the dry ingredients only. Okay, now I'm going to throw in all of my wet ingredients. I'm going to grab my spatula. And to let you know, I also have 9 by 13 uh, pan ready that I sprayed with cooking spray. And I'm using a glass pan. That's just because what I always make this in is a glass pan. It doesn't matter. You can make this in a foil pan. You can make this in a regular baking pan. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to put all my wet ingredients in here. Applesauce. oil, apple cider, and I forgot two eggs. It won't be much of a cake if we don't have anything to hold it together. So we'll have two whole eggs. And yes, I'm breaking them directly into my bowl because I'm going rogue in the kitchen, folks. Living life on the edge. I am. I'm Um, I have never, ever, 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 ever in my entire time cooking had a problem with an egg. I've seen it happen once to my sister. You know, so let's mix this up. Which sister? Bonnie. Bonnie. And, and what was wrong with the egg? There's a partially formed chicken in it. Ew! Oh, thank you for sharing. You asked. I did. <laughs> I did. I asked. It's my fault. Okay. Okay, I'm just stirring it up to make sure we got all the dry things off of the bottom. Then what we're going to do is we're going to... 
dumped the raisins all over dumped the, the raisins all over the counter. That's absolutely right. I meant to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna mix these in. Thank you, honey. I'm here to help. You're usually sneaking them instead of putting them in the bowl. How <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> I don't know until I edit the video. See, I'm not big on raisins. I know. All right, let me just get these things out of the way. It's not cheese. It's not cheese or olives or something like that. Okay, let me grab my pan. Bring it over here. Scrape your bowl out. And that's as simple as it gets. Okay. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And you can do this in this 9x13 pan. I've never done it any other way. Because to me, an applesauce cake is something that's like, you know, when I was a kid, Betty Crocker had this thing called snack and cake. And it was, you mix it up in a little cardboard pan, and it made like four pieces of cake. So to me, this is like a snack and cake. All you do when you take this out of the oven, I'm going to sprinkle it with powdered sugar and cut it up into squares, and people are going to grab it when they walk by and just enjoy it that way. You can enjoy it with cream cheese frosting if you desire. I'm not going to do that today, mm. but we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this in the oven for, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in at 350 for 55 minutes. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I take it out of the oven. So let's put this in the oven. Turn on the light. Put it right there. And it's going to go take a nice warm nap for about an hour. And I'm going to go cook my supper, which I'm also going to share with you in another video. So I'll be back in a little while. Okay, our cake is done. I just stuck my hand in there a minute ago. And let me show you a couple ways you can test. You can push it like this and it springs back. Or you can take the toothpick test. You can push it in and it comes out clean. There's nothing on that toothpick. This cake needs to cool before you open and cut it up and serve it. So we're going to let this cool off and then I'm going to come back and I am going to cut you a slab of this applesauce cake. Because I know you are ready to taste it. So. We'll be back in a little while when it's ready for humans to eat, Rick. Okay, I'm just finishing up putting some powdered sugar on this cake. As you can see, there's a couple pieces missing. It's either the children or my husband, a combination of both. Huh? It wasn't me. It wasn't you. Well, like I told them earlier, what kind of a mom would I be if I didn't taste it before I fed it to my family? <laughs> Truth be known, this is one of my favorites. So, let me grab a plate. There's some over here. There's some over here. Huh? Oh, there's some over there. Oh, well. Okay. And give you a proper piece. And then I have to do this, because if I don't... Everyone in the family won't know where to cut it, or they'll cut it however Not they everyone. like. Hmm? Not everyone. Not everyone. I know. All right. How about that? You can see how moist it is. It's very dense, and it's delicious. There you go. Applesauce cake, just in time for fall. I hope you try this, and I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, I'll see ya.